I'm Craig, and today for the Surfboard Guide, we're gonna do our initial thoughts of the keg by Rusty Surfboards. So, you'd know we've done our initial thoughts, and normally we've done them after a few surfs or a surf on the board, but this one's a little bit different. It actually is our pure initial thoughts. This has not even had a bit of wax on it, as you can see. Um, so, this is the keg um, by Rusty Surfboards, and it is the Wade Carmichael um, Pro Model. So if you don't know, Wade Carmichael, um, a heavy-footed, powerful surfer on the world tour. Um, surfs like an absolute demon. I think he's from Avoca um, on the east coast of Australia. Uh, and he's been turning some heads over the last few years with some pretty powerful surfing. So I guess under those powerful hooves um, is a pretty epic board. So the keg that I got, I think originally was Wade's actual dimensions, but I think he's gone up since. I've had the board for a while. I haven't been surfing because of an injury, but it's um, 6.0, 19 and a half by two and a half and exactly 31 liters. So I got this a while ago, put it under my arm, and I must say it is felt like one of the more impressive short boards that I've put under my arm uh, in a long time. It feels absolutely mental. Um, 31 liters is my new number. Uh, I like it. And it just feels like there's foam in all the right places. Um, you know, not overly thick anywhere, but just a really nice distribution of foam. Uh, and seeing Wade surf, he has like, you know, he's on the world tour, so he's obviously one of the world's best surfers, but his surfing is just like really textbook kind of surfing. I think a lot of people can relate to, but he's just a bit heavier on those hooves and pushing a lot more water. Um, and his make rate of everything's probably a little bit more higher. So, you know, seeing him surf, um, Rusty putting out this pro model, uh, I was pretty frothing to check it out. So looking over it, it's, it's a performance shortboard. Um, nothing too crazy, not too narrow, not too curvy, but you know, um, you know, the nose pulls in, performance kind of narrow, shortboard nose. Um, the tail, nice, it holds a little bit of width. It's not overly wide, but it does hold a little bit of width and it looks like there's kind of like a little hip just here, nothing crazy. Um, and that would be just to pull in a wide point to a narrow tail, but saying that, the tail is still fairly wide. Um, so still a little bit of foam under there. Um, rails, mid rail, um, not too thick, but it feels kind of like low on the edge and then it feels it quite, it gets thick quite quickly, but that two and a half isn't on the rail. So I'd call it a mid rail, not a full rail, uh, but you can feel that thickness come up quite quickly on the board. Uh, and then the rocker, nothing crazy here. Bit of flip through the nose um, and then it kind of lifts. When you look down the board, you can kind of see it lift right at the end. It's like there's a little bit of flip right at the very end of the nose, um, but nothing crazy. I'd say it's fairly flat actually, I get, apart from that flip at the end, um, compared to a lot of shortboards out there. And through the tail, you know, a bit of foil, a bit of curve through the back end, uh, but not too much tail rocker. So that's just gonna make it pretty easy to surf and probably go really well in a whole variety of conditions. Uh, flipping it over, it looks and feels like it has a really deep single uh, the whole way through the board. I don't, yeah, there's no double through the back. I don't think there's a V. Uh, everything would be on their website, obviously. But if you have a look, it's just a pretty aggressive single the whole way through the bottom. So easy to surf, gonna keep water moving through the board uh, and be a whole lot of fun. So as I said, initial thoughts, a little bit different though, I have not even surfed, I haven't put wax on it. It's been sitting around at my house for a month or two. Uh, I'm gonna get it in the water ASAP, now I'm back and surfing. Um, so with the fins, I know Wade, uh, it's got futures, and Wade always rides the AM2s, the large AMs. Uh, so that would be my first port of call to check out with the keg. Uh, but in saying that, I've got like some new Vapor Cores, John John's, all our favorites. But if there's something you'd like to see in the review, um, a fin by, you know, futures or a futures base that you'd like to see in the review, uh, please shout out. I know I've put up a couple of clips on our, or like little photos on our Instagram, uh, at the Surfboard Guide. And I've had a lot of comments and a lot of DMs, people very, very interested in this board, uh, like myself, pretty keen to get in the water, just waiting for the right day now. But yeah, if there's, if there's fins you'd like to see, please let me know. But I think as a basis, uh, the AM2, I've seen Wade ride that for a few years now, and it's, it's probably my favorite fin. It's a very easy to surf fin. Uh, also a really good fin to kind of, for me to get to know a board. Um, so keen to put that in first and see how it goes. But yeah, that is the keg by Rusty Surfboards. Um, like I said, it feels good underarm. It's very aesthetically pleasing to the eye and I'm pretty frothing to get it in the water. Anyway, uh, we'll be putting up some clips in that and have the review out shortly. But if there's anything you'd like to see in the review, 
you know, I've had questions about boards duck diving, all that sort of stuff, happy to answer it. Um, but the big one here, I guess would be fins. Uh, as a performance board that I think a lot of people would be interested in and people have their favorite fin or recommendations or something like to see. So just reach out and let us know. Uh, any comments, just throw them below on YouTube or hit us up at the Surfboard Guide on Instagram. We're pretty interactive and you can always check out what boards we're looking at, what's coming up and you know uh, what's in the pipeline. But anyway, that is the Keg by Rusty Surfboards and that's our initial thoughts. The full review will be out soon and yeah, hit us up with any questions. Thanks so much for watching.